A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, August 21, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In today's video, I will be giving an update on cyclonic activity in the Atlantic. First, we will talk about Hurricane Aaron, which is beginning to move away from the United States. We will also talk about the newly designated Invest 90, which has a high probability of becoming the next tropical storm of the season, which will most likely be called Tropical Storm Fernand. In addition, I will talk about Invest 99, which maintains a medium probability of cyclonic development as it moves westward and could bring some rain and showers to sectors of the southern half of the Lesser Antilles. And in the last part of the video, I will talk about what we can expect during the coming weeks. See that in the 2 p.m. tropical outlook we have Hurricane Aaron, which is located to the northwest of the island of Bermuda. In addition, the newly designated Invest 90 has a 70% probability of cyclonic development over the next seven days as it moves north-northwest and could eventually be of interest to the island of Bermuda. On the other hand, we continue monitoring Invest 99, which although maintains a 40% probability of development, the window for cyclonic organization is approximately 24 hours, since eventually, as it approaches the Caribbean, it will be facing unfavorable conditions for its cyclonic development. In addition, the National Hurricane Center marked an area of low pressure in the subtropical Atlantic that has a 30% probability of cyclonic development. So, although at the moment we have a lot of activity or areas of interest in the Atlantic, really Invest 90 at the moment seems to be the only disturbance that could represent a threat to land areas, in this case to the island of Bermuda. But let's first talk about Hurricane Aaron. The impressive Hurricane Aaron is beginning to move away from the east coast of the United States, where flooding and coastal erosion have been reported, related to one of the widest circulations we have seen on record associated with tropical cyclones. And really Hurricane Aaron has been very impressive. We have been following its progress for a week, and remember that it managed to become a powerful Category 5 hurricane when it passed near the northeast of the Caribbean. However, the circulation center has not been directly impacting land areas, so although it has caused some indirect damages related to strong surf and flooding in the Caribbean, fortunately the strongest part of this cyclone has always remained over the Atlantic waters. In addition, see that when it was a major hurricane and as it passed just north of the Lesser Antilles and Greater Antilles, it was benefiting from ocean surface temperatures that were warmer than normal across this area. But in this animation you can see how they have been changing as the hurricane moves over the southwest Atlantic. As a consequence, See that the temperatures now to the east and northeast of the Bahamas are colder than usual, represented in this animation by the blue colors. And in fact this may have some implications for the peak of the season, which I will talk about later in this video. So now let's move to the tropical Atlantic area. Here we see the cloudiness and areas of convection related to the newly designated Invest 90, which at the beginning of the week we were monitoring for the possibility that it would approach the Northeast Caribbean. However, and fortunately, it has taken a more northwesterly track, staying away from the Antilles and Puerto Rico. Now then, as this disturbance continues its track toward the northwest and eventually north, it could find favorable conditions for strengthening when it reaches the subtropical Atlantic and will be passing very close to the island of Bermuda, for which it is important that residents of this island pay attention to its evolution. And see that the intensity projections show fairly rapid strengthening and in about three to four days, the models project that it could reach Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane strength when it passes near Bermuda. So there's the possibility that Invest 90 will not only become Tropical Storm Fernand, but that it could strengthen into the second hurricane of the season. In fact, let's look at the projection of the American model regarding how it could look in terms of the infrared satellite. And you can see that in about three to four days, when it passes near Bermuda, look at the structure that the possible Hurricane Fernand could have with a well-defined eye, which is characteristic of Category 2 or Category 3 hurricanes. After it passes near or over Bermuda, it will move into the waters of the North Atlantic without threatening additional land areas. And now let's talk about an upcoming tropical wave, Invest 99, that has managed to maintain a well-defined circulation, but at the moment there is no evidence that this circulation is closed at low levels of the atmosphere. So for now the National Hurricane Center has not classified the disturbance as a tropical depression. This despite the fact that during today we have seen convection areas developing over the circulation center. And although this suggests that it could be close to becoming a tropical depression, until the National Hurricane Center finds evidence that it has a closed circulation, it cannot be classified as a tropical cyclone. See that Invest 99 is projected to maintain a generally westward trajectory during the next five to seven days until eventually passing over the arc of the Lesser Antilles, specifically in the islands located in the southern half. But if you live in the Caribbean, it is important that you know that for the moment there is no reason to worry, because, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, the atmospheric conditions across this area will not be favorable for significant organization. In fact, that is precisely what the intensity models show us, 
where at least during the next three to four days they keep Invest 99 as a tropical wave, and in the medium and long term we will have to observe what happens when it approaches the Lesser Antilles. However, I repeat, we know that conditions across this area will not be very favorable for significant development. And if we look at the ensemble members of the European model, see that they have Invest 90 moving northward, passing east of Bermuda, and many members show a strong tropical storm or hurricane in about four to five days. In addition, see that approximately 15 to 20 percent of the members develop perhaps a tropical depression or short-lived tropical storm related to Invest 99, but the vast majority dissipated before it reaches the Caribbean region. So this is precisely why the National Hurricane Center maintains the probabilities at 40 percent for the development of a tropical depression or short-lived tropical storm. Meanwhile, the members of the American model first have a trajectory a little more westward compared to the European model. They also have a stronger system associated with Invest 90 approaching or passing as a hurricane over the island of Bermuda. And on the other hand, see that some perhaps have the development of a tropical depression related to Invest 99, but in about two to three days they have the system very weak as it moves westward until reaching the Lesser Antilles. So it is quite evident that conditions in the tropical Atlantic have begun to become unfavorable for significant development especially between the Caribbean and Africa. And this is due to the fact that the favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, which had been helping in the formation of Hurricane Aaron, has already moved into a phase that is not favorable for the Atlantic, represented in this image by the yellow and orange colors. And if we go by the movement of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, it is possible that the next two weeks will be quite calm until another Kelvin wave crosses the Atlantic. So there is the possibility that during the first half of September we will again see cyclonic activity. However, Remember that we are already in the peak of the season, which began on August 20th and extends until October 20th, when historically we see over 65% of the cyclonic activity of the entire year during this period of time. This means that although we will have conditions not so favorable for development, it is always important during the peak of the season to be attentive to any disturbance that may have cyclonic organization. And this is precisely why we continue monitoring Invest 99 as it moves westward during the coming days. And if we look at the long-term forecast, the Climate Prediction Center for the last week of September marks the area just west of Africa as an area where there is over a 20% probability of cyclonic development, which means that although the possibility exists, the probabilities at the moment remain quite low. Now, then for the first week of September, when the Kelvin wave passes through the Atlantic, see that NOAA's Climate Prediction Center marks two areas where there is a low probability of cyclonic development. So this is precisely why we must remain alert throughout the entire peak of the season. And lastly, I wanted to give you an update on how the ocean surface temperature anomalies are. In particular, see that the Caribbean Sea region and the Gulf of Mexico currently have ocean surface temperatures that are well above normal. In addition, Hurricane Aaron will be helping those very warm ocean surface temperature anomalies in the subtropical Atlantic decrease, which could represent better conditions for high cyclonic activity during the month of September in the main cyclonic development region. In fact, See that since July the temperatures have been warming across the main cyclonic development region and currently are among the five warmest years since 1991. And here at Hurricane Info we will continue to keep an eye on the tropics to keep you informed. And before I go, I wanted to ask you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any of the videos we record. I hope you all have an excellent day. Until next time.